All right, we're here with JC, Whitney, and Carrie. We got the Manufacturing Training Center. Here we got JC. Hi guys. And we're going to video just making our um, drilling our holes for our mandrels to wrap our wires with. And these two mandrels, we have a fourth inch, which is what decimals? Point. 0.25 and we have a 3 8 0.375 thank you JC so we're going to drill the holes JC's made these great forms check this out alright this is going to be for a coil winding desktop device here so there's a hole for the wire to be fed through on the back and very important to see that there's a raised screw right in the middle and that's you're going to wrap your wire around. That will come clear when you see it happening. Alright, I'll just use that as space because I don't mind if that gets chewed up. So you've chosen these two mandrels for 18 gauge wire. What do you suggest for the 14 gauge? Um, you want a 5 30 seconds inch difference. I use uh, I use a little bit less than that. I use 3 8 and 6 millimeter because 6 millimeter is slightly smaller than a quarter of an inch. But your 16 gauge wire is a 1 16th of an inch, so you double that, you get an eighth. If your mandrels are an eighth of an inch difference, they're, they're not going to slide together well. So you need a little bit more space than an eighth of an inch. Okay. Or a slightly smaller mandrel, so you have more, you know, a little more than an eighth of an inch difference. I can push that pins right there, so I want the hole right there. sure that's going to work. It's oh. a little bit tight. Just a little bit tight. That's better. You want, you want to drill that hole straight down too. You're not angling it. You want to make well, it... Well, do you want to... I'm trying to be nice. Yeah. To be as, you know, make it look nice, and and that way, if you have to put another one in, it's easy. We're going for the smaller bar now. So we're doing up two of these. These we're going to bring with us as we go teach workshops, thanks to JC. And then we'll have uh, some clamps here. Clamp them down onto a table. Okay. Well, when you're working with pine, if you're building these, uh, try to make them out of the, the hardest wood you can get, oak 
uh, ash, something. Don't use pine. I use pine on these because that's all I had. But it's not. They're not going to last very long. You want the hardest wood you can get your hands on uh, for this plate. Okay, so that's that. Ready to go. Okay, then you can take a little. Um, what is that it's called? A needle file. A needle file, and just kind of round out those holes so they're nice and smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it just makes them a little more reliable, last a little longer. And it opens the hole up because it was 3 8 drill, 3 8 mandrel. That doesn't really work. You need a little bit of clearance in there. So you want, a, you want it a little bit sloppy. Not very much, though. And there, those are done. Okay, what JC is doing here is he is using a, a file to to smooth out this bar because you don't want it to be um, damage your coils. So yeah, nicks nicks on the bar will make it difficult to get the coils off, and they'll scratch them. So take care of your tools. You want them as smooth and clean as possible. A lot of times also when you cut these bars at the end, you'll get a big burr at the end, and then it'll be hard to take your coil off. So use a nice smooth end. If you're going to cut your bars in half, use a file and file that end nice and yeah. smooth on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Straighten the wire out nice. Now, as Whitney showed, there's a hole in here. This is to guide the wire when you're making your coil. So total, total control of the wire. Now, I've done this a number of times. There's a number of videos on it. This is the simplest way that I know how to do this. And as you take the wire, you bend the end about a half an inch at 90 degrees. Get your mandrel ready. Then it goes under the screw and not quite enough. There we go. Into the drill check. Now for this style, you want to make sure that your drill is running in reverse. Oh, I didn't grab it. do this a little bit differently because this wire is really soft. <laughs> so we need to get it started the hard way. Yeah, sorry you can't see this, but I gotta keep control of the wire. There we go. That should be enough. Now you probably want to be like over here. Mm -hmm. If you can flip that screen and turn the camera on. I kind of went way too fast, but that's okay. No worries. Oh. Maybe with the, the 18 gauge, it's just not strong enough for... Yeah, it's, it's, this is really soft wire. Yeah. All right, so the 18 gauge is a little soft to run down around that screw, so he's going to hold it. If you're using 14 gauge, this isn't a problem. Something a little heavier. Man, getting this started is not working very well. If you had a hole in the mandrel, that would make things a little easier. And don't 
let this come through and hit you in the thumb and cut your thumb up. And that's how you make coils. Beautiful. Thank you, JC.